Well, it's pretty young, is it? Yeah. It's yeah. really young. Yeah, four years old. Yeah, it's fucking no. nothing. We were doing tours when I was. Well, it is four years old. We were doing tours when I was. Four or six years old. Yeah. Yeah. It's, How many well, about, I think Four it's to about six. Eight, yeah. It says Frontier Whiskey. The Fred Minnick Show is brought to you by 291 Colorado Whiskey, by Michter's, and by Heaven Hill Brands. So uh, so that was We Came as Romans. Um, that's the second time on the show. And, uh, you know, we were catching up. You know, they got a new record that just dropped. Cool. And, nice. uh, you know, they're just kind of feeling it, right? They're in that, they're in yeah, that moment. Yeah, there's nothing of, better than when you put your first, you know, you put a record out for the first time, and then you're hitting the road. It's exciting. Yeah. It's like one of your whiskeys. It's like a first release, small batch, something. Like, I'm sure there's people in the distillery going, how's this bottle going to go? It's the same thing. You put everything into that, like the tasting and all that. So it's not right. It's not right. It's not right. You go through all these processes. So you go, right. That's the bottle. That's the record. So what do, uh, what do you all have coming out that's new? Well, we gotta, we've been touring since May, um, but then we're going to finish up. So we're going down past Vancouver, we'll go down past Seattle on Aftershock and then uh, we'll oh, finish yeah. up uh, around somewhere mid-October in LA and then we go Steel Panther in Australia. Mm-hmm. You got to go play with Steel Panther? Yeah, uh, a little tour with Steel Panther. Oh, are, you gonna wear, are you going to wear tights with them and like, you know? No, that, not. That, that's <laughs> that, that's actually stipulated. They say that no other bands on the bill can wear tights but them. They're like, yeah. you can't wear tights. <laughs> wear around the tights, okay, yeah. guys? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, they, yeah. They, they said, they said, they said yeah. we were not allowed. Stick star in the drummer. He's pretty yeah, hardcore yeah, yeah, like that. He's like, you can't wear fucking tights, guys. Guys, we wear the tights. Well, you can yeah, wear your tights. jeans, you wear your Levi's, whatever the fuck, but we wear the tights. We wear the tights. Okay, <laughs> Steel Panther wears the tights. Darren said that. Sticks. Yes. Straight up. Word for word. Straight up. <laughs> I mean, he's a hardcore. <laughs> I get it. I get I it. I hope he sees the interview. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know. You know Dude, if you, why can't we wear tights? <laughs> Come on, Daz. You know, I mean, if, if, you, if you've built your entire career off of tights and hey, you know, throwing a sock yeah. in there. Yeah, no one can touch you know. the tight. No one, don't touch the <laughs> don't Hands touch up the, the tights, man. Whoa. Don't touch the tights. It moves on its own levels. But anyway, yeah. Are y'all ready for something else? Yeah. So now, well, before we- Europe, UK before the end we, of the year, but yeah. What, what whiskey-wise? Oh, now before we, before we jump in, tell us about you. Like, uh, no, well, I'm well, five well. nine, and uh, you <laughs> but you know, know something way, about way a little over two hundred pounds, a lot more over two hundred pounds. But the whiskey is uh, your passion. Oh, that part, yo, I, I, I didn't know how deep you want to get into the know me. No, let's. I was, I was feeling. I thought you were really wanting to get to know me at my core and like yeah. how I was raised and all that. But no, I just care about my whiskey side. I get it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, so I, I've been uh, covering whiskey for uh, 16 years Ooh. and the course became a, a, a critic and I own a spirits competition and I've written seven books, okay. one of which you will get here in a bit. Ooh. And uh, I just, uh, I basically, um, I, I co-founded a festival with Danny Wimmer who puts uh, Louder Than Life on. Uh -huh. And I have uh, wanted to start bringing whiskey into kind of like an interview se setting with with bands because i love music and i've always loved music i've always loved being around i have no musical talent whatsoever zero and uh I, but i like i love musicians because you all one you, you all think of uh when you're tasting you can tap into the artistic side of your brain you know and think about what you're tasting so i like people who are educated about what they feel and what they can taste and so yeah. forth uh and also you all uh there are very few professions that have been trained well to uh, to sustain a you know drinking with me. So uh, in the music world, you all uh, let's just say partake yeah. until you don't. Uh, so now a question: So do you have your own whiskey? Or I do not. No. Now why? Like like if like you say like you know you say you don't know how to play a musical instrument or something like that, but right. you know a lot about whiskey. Yeah. I'm sure if you went to one of these distill. The bigger distilleries right. or the smaller ones that said, hey, I'd love to make a whiskey with you guys. Would yeah. you be up for that? It'll be released at every Danny Women Festival or whatever. Yeah. But it will be like a, you know, like it's your taste on it. Like what you Yeah, would like. you know. I'm I, sure people would say, 
you like it. Yeah. This guy likes it. I think I want to try I, I that. Think, I, I think the, you know, one thing that I do is I do do barrel picks. I do have, you know, so I will go to the distilleries and pick a barrel. Um, and I work with retailers, you know, to do that. But the big thing is, uh, you know, it's an identity thing in a uh -huh. lot of ways. I, I'm still like a journalist. I still consider myself like a writer. So there's writer. not a sommelier thing for whiskey, is there? Uh, there are, but a lot of those, a lot of those, a lot of those certification programs are really just kind of ways to. They're yeah. just certification programs. Basically, get um, it, and get even it, get even the master sommelier. I mean, they're in all kinds of controversy and lawsuits over various. Oh really? Oh, that's yeah. I I am. I do not begrudge anybody who goes and gets a certification. But, but you're better off just knowing what you yeah. know and then having the confidence to tell people that yeah. it's good. I don't need I don't need a certification. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just it's just years of work. Yeah. Um you It's know. a lot of work because like your taste buds, tongue, yeah. taste, everything, like all of these bottles, that's a lot like we play three chords in a band. This is a lot of lot to take in. I mean, I drink Blantons. I love Blantons. I love the, the most, the hardcore. Ooh. Yeah. Love my Blantons. Love that. Love that. And okay. So what we would officially call you in the bourbon world is a tater. Okay. Tater. We so call you a tater. Okay. Because you like Blantons. Now, how much do you spend on Blantons? Uh, I don't know. In Australia? Because it costs twice as much over here. What would you what would you pay for it normally? What would I pay for it? For yeah. a bottle for the for the no. number one bottle with the sediment in the the main one, the the single barrel, the first. Oh, the straight from the barrel. The straight from the barrel. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's the one. That, that's really. That's good. the one I drink. It's got the sediment. Yeah. You can see it. Everything's yeah. real, and it's got the handwritten on the yeah. thing. You know that someone. To me, I I fantasize. I'm like somebody in the factory is, or, or the little that storeroom. That one storeroom has gone with a little texter who's probably been there. Probably like some 50 year old woman who's just been there. I've been here a long time and they're writing on this thing. <laughs> and then, like, I'm going, that's coming all the way to Australia. I'll pay whatever it costs. I don't care. 500 bucks a bottle, I'll pay that. I'm like, that has come God from damn. all the way from there to me. God damn, it's good whiskey. You take it, boy. I'm like, all right. <laughs> it's worth the price. Yeah. My God. Uh, My God. <laughs> well, how about this? Okay. This, right, now, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I, I mean, <laughs> what do we got here? Is that the gold one? Eww. This is not. This is just a basic uh, barrel pick. Let's, of, get, let's get down the bottom line. Let's get. Let's go Ford pickup truck. Let's all go right. there. Okay. Let's let's kill this bottle here, huh? <laughs> Ford pickup truck. <laughs> well, they? and these glasses are yours to keep. All right. Okay. <laughs> we got a bottle kill. Bottle, bottle, kill. bottle kill. Bottle kill. Bottle kill. No, 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 catch it. Bottle kill. Woo! Catch. All right. There you go. Thank you. Now, before we get in. Cheers, boys. What, do you have anything to say about, I know it's a tater. But like, you know, <laughs> but, but but listen, I love Blantons. Like, listen, look, from from Australia, look, bland, we get Pepsi, Coke, so, and Blantons. So I, let, let's just, let me just clear the air here okay, about, yeah. about what. So Blantons SRP, I think, is forty dollars. Retailers get it; they crank it up to two hundred dollars. Okay. And people who spend that, I'm like, you are spending way too much money on. Right. If you can get it for here. I understand why it would be marked up in Australia. Oh yeah, it's a long I, ship. Yeah, nice. I, it's a long way away. Uh, and, you know, and you all like like your taxes. Oh yeah, uh, y'all love your taxes. We love the only our way taxes. Australia funds its military and government is off alcohol tax and yeah. cigarettes. Seriously, and cigarettes. I mean, so you know, you can't begrudge it, no. but but like here, like the retailers uh, and also a lot of people like you know sell it on the secondary market and they spend too much when the actual SRP is like 40 bucks maybe 50 i don't know where it is right now but it's not it's, it's not me. what does that mean uh standard retail price standard retail or, price. i'm sorry suggested retail price okay yeah by the by the manuf manufacturer so okay. now america you're founded on like yeah you know, you've got a history that we don't know a lot because we weren't taught a lot about it we know about the civil war and things like that was this around then like when we watch a western film that's been yeah. set in a certain time and they go, give me the bottle. And they go, like John Wayne walks in and they put the bottle on the bar. What were they drinking way back in the frontier uh, days? Like, yeah, so they would have been, that? yeah, they would have been drinking some, uh, some, 
some out on the range whiskey probably they could have been drinking bourbon and who would make that like uh there were a lot of distilleries in kentucky there they were must just... have been small because there's no mass marketing there's no nothing back then actually uh branding for the most part in the united states was created by by <laughs> bourbon brands <laughs> that's because, where it began yeah, yeah so it, mcdonald's and all that all, like yeah it all began with uh like with bourbon brands like brand literally branding and who was the first their barrels uh the most noted would have been old crow old crow after uh james c crow okay uh who was a doctor that uh perfected american whiskey distillation and uh that's still on the shelves today it sucks today but back in the oh, day okay. it was the best in the it was best in the game well, there so, you go yeah. well to colonel blanton <coughs> to colonel blanton he was important uh in the in the story of bourbon so right It's a lot different than the one you gave us before. It's more like a Bud Light. Yeah, in comparison to what you just yeah, had. I yeah, I like it. Yeah. No, but, but see, to me, I could drink that all day. I could sit in my bunk, pint yeah. and put Yellowstone on with Kevin Costner, and then sit there just drinking my Blantons. Do you know what they drink on that? Every time, what's his name? He, what's his character called? Uh, Rip? Bullet. No, it's not, but they put bullet bottles on there, but when, no, not Rip, um, Kevin Costner's character. Right. What, uh, bullet. No, but he walks in and he's got like the whole. No, they're just that's branding. What do you think he's actually drinking? No, iced tea. Tea? Uh, yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, man. on it's the movies. Because oh. I wanted to have a bourbon with Kevin Costner and talk oh, about Come on, man. Everybody wants to have a bourbon with Kevin Costner. Oh, <laughs> greatest <laughs> filmmaker. Probably not everyone. Oh, all the time. One day. One, one day it'll yeah. happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's a very important part of your culture. And Australia is only a 200 year old country. So we don't yeah. have really anything like this. Oh, we're, we're not far from you. You know, but you do have, like, I was thinking this. the other day. I was thinking, um, you do have a culture. You know, the this, it is it is drawn from that that era. Even a country in Western, you can be proud about that. That you got a sound, yeah, that, that that's yours. You know, the burger and the cheese, like that's a real thing. If you look, what's an Australian cuisine? What the fuck? what's an Australian sound like? We're still pretty young. Well, we're young as well, but uh, I would say, like, when we think of Australians, we just think of. Uh, one, you all were very important in the story of bourbon. Uh, actually, in, okay. you all were uh, buying bourbon when Americans were not. You and the Japanese. Really? Yeah. In some Prohibition age, or? Uh, no, like in the 1980s. Like bourbon, you all, you and the Japan were the big reason why uh, bourbon made a comeback. Well, there you go, folks. Well, you know, Japan, Australia helps America. Malt, real quick one. You know, they sent people over to mimic the vats for the yeah. scotch. Yeah. They had dinters, guys that would mat the dints on a vat yeah. and go straight back to Japan and they would dint a vat yeah. to make it exactly like Scotland. That's how wow. that's, that's how whiskey makers are. They're t they try to be precise. Yeah. And it, it's probably all just hooey balooey. But all, I love it. <laughs> you know. But the obsession over that perfect, the taste that they have in their head, that this has got to be it. It's the same as making a record. When yeah. you're writing a song, it's got to be right, and you go, and then one says, "It sounds great," and you go, "It's, nah, it's not right yet." You're like, it tastes great, but nah, it's not. It's not. It's, it doesn't hit me here yet. Yeah. It's, it's an interest. It's very interesting the process of bourbon, and also because, say, in in France, for example, no other country in the world they can make sparkling wine. They are not allowed to call it champagne, champagne. from the region of Champagne, and it's the same with bourbon. There's nowhere else in the world that's right. that can make it and say that's bourbon because it's got to come from what are the states? The United States, it's yeah. Like in the United States. Except in, in Australia and New Zealand, only two places. It can only be uh, labeled, it can only be bottled at 74 proof. You all uh, negotiated that for your... For your well, who was uh, the dickhead that negotiated that? Whoever negotiated your free trade agreement with the United States of America. Okay. We're, we'll get that changed. We'll go home. We'll get <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll get a boat. Talk to Pete. Well, we'll talk no, to listen, listen, yeah. listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Hawaii's not that far away from Australia. We'll get all of the stuff that we've got, like all of our bourbon that we're making, boat it over, ship it over to Hawaii. Make sure it's going to be the. What, what do we want? Hundred proof? What do you have? What was the? Uh, yeah. So eight. So no, they can't make bourbon in Australia. Yeah, they can't make like with that Australia. label. Fuck. But but you all can like you all can get bourbon uh, bottled at seventy four proof. 
where the law says 80 proof is the is the yeah. uh, minimum. Uh, so, 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 but that, if we can does, import does it at mean, 80. Does that mean they actually put water on it? Yeah. Fuck but hang on, can we import it at 80? Uh, some, yeah, some do. Yeah. Can you because no, I, listen, listen, we're going to go, re- we're going to go real tater here. So when I was yeah. when, in the lockdowns, um, so in Australia, bourbon influx in Australia stopped quite a lot because I was yeah. going to get my Blantons, get my Blantons, the single barrel one yeah. with the with the Dexter, uh, Sharpie. Um, but anyway, so that wasn't there. And then the Yellowstone one went away and like all of these, like Woodford was always there and these other ones, the basic ones were always there. But bullet, I know, I don't care what anyone fucking says about it. The rye to, to me in my bunk when I'm watching a movie, it's the best thing ever. All right. Bullet rye or the 10 year old or there's the single one, but that ran out. And then there was, so I was reading online and, and they said, when you get a bottle of bullet from Australia, there's two bottles. There's the 40, 40% and the 45% alcohol. Yeah. So is the 40, the 70? Uh, no, so that would be, that's not available here. Right. We, we don't have a 40% bullet. Oh, okay, what do you have? Do you have a 45? It's not, yeah, it's 45. Okay, so is, when you said in Australia, well, we can only bottle it at the lower percentage. No, you can, like you can go lower, but you can also go higher. Right. You can, but you, but we can't have, you can't have a 74 proof uh, or a 37% uh, bourbon in the United States, but it can be bottled for Australia or New right. Zealand. Okay. Bull's really young, isn't it? No, I don't think it's that lot young. I think it is, isn't it? Bull's pretty young, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. really young. Yeah, four years old. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. nothing. We were doing tours when they were as Bullet long. is four years old. We were doing tours when they four were- Four or six years when old, they were yeah. It's, How many years old? Four to six, eight, yeah. It says Frontier Whiskey. We did the tour. We Listen, we were hold on a minute. Child. We were touring when they I were- I was thinking oh, Frontier, you know. like, we've got a couple of Smith & Weston he sort of fucking- wasn't thinking. A couple of like this. <laughs> we were six two. shooters. Four we years were old. When they launched their product about eight years ago, so- I remember there's little orange little flags around the venue. It's like, oh, bullet. You mean I when, thought you knew this. You mean when America was founded, when the founding fathers was here, Stop we're here. Stop watching TV. Oh my God. I, I got something else. Mount that. Rushmore, they weren't even Let's drinking do bullet. Let's do that. Let's do that. Fuck me. They were launching the product on our tours. <laughs> bullet bourbon? Yes. It was flags all over the venues. Oh my God. Brand new bourbon. What the? I've been sold down the river. You've been sold down the river. So I have a little. This is a barrel pick that I did. It's a blue note. I've uh, gone over Niagara Falls and just died. This is for this is for Not you yet. to keep. <laughs> and, and you can you can pour that out if you want. Or there you go. <laughs> but boys, it's good. Blant, Blanton's though. Colonel Blanton, he's real. Like he's a real. He was a, he was a real person. Thank yeah. fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <bro. laughs> God damn it! Bullet through the heart, baby. This is Blue Note. <laughs> We're basically drinking just like the new version of Pepsi. <laughs> Fuck! It shows how much I know about it. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers to education. <laughs> to education. When do, go, when do you all go on? We're already we're, been on. You're already no, been on. We're just already getting on now. Mate, if we hadn't been on stage, we wouldn't be tricking Okay, so now a sniff, like, let it light nose and... Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Clay yeah. over here, guys. Clay, yeah. Clay. Right, we... Yeah, and that was, that's when it was Jägermeister and Monster Energy Drinks. So and we've come a long way. Trucks in the car park and... Golf buggies getting stolen. Oh, like, yeah. We got away with some shit. Fucking <laughs> okay, hell. Yeah, no one ever talks about it anymore. You want one? Yeah. Oh, that one. We're all passing out. Yeah. All oh, right. Whoa, whoa. Woo, Where are we going here? Woo, woo. Oh, my God. That one was. Oh. Yeah, oh, dude. A little drip in there. There you go. Oh. This has got more of a so in uh, with music. There's an EQ, which is like most music yeah. always sort of sounds best at flat. Depending on your stereo, you can give it the smiley face. But that's yeah. got an EQ bump. I would say at about four K and about five hundred hertz, that thing just this goes the way he talks straight and boof hits up like that. To me, it's like a there's something going on in here that sticks out. What is it? That's gold. I I, I don't want to say it's nut. I don't want to say it's something like that, but because I, I, I don't know, but there's something that goes, whoosh, sticks out. It pops. It does. It pops. Yeah. Okay. It goes. Oh, here we are. 
It's like just a little jab. You're like you're in the ring with Muhammad Ali and he goes, Boop. Just a little, I ain't doing anything. A little. Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, I, I hurt my jaw. <laughs> just a little, letting you know I'm here, you motherfucker. Uh, That's what it does. It says, hey. I'd say it's like a little touch of cinnamon there. For okay. Me. okay. Cinnamon, you know. salt, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like a sweet. Raisin. A sweet, raisin. Yeah. sweeter thing. Mm. Yeah, this is more down my vibe. Alice right? Yeah, okay. But yes, I'm obviously a Scotch guy. Yeah. So I'm I'm really Del more, um, more Del more. Um, and if you go Irish, I go. Fucking love red, this. red breast. Oh yeah, I get a little red breast here. And yeah. the best one is the Bushmills sixteen. Oh the yeah. Macron oh label. yeah. Yeah. That's the one, not the green label, the one with the tents one. Uh, yeah, I love whack. me some bush. What are we going outside That's of America for? Let's just keep it in the give me the United States, baby. Well, we're just land of freedom, baby. Damn Come it. on, put a man on the moon, motherfucker. Okay. Come on, baby. <laughs> no, but this is really. This is Clay. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but listen, that big old golf ball up there, man. <sighs> We took this up there. <laughs> Jack Daniels single barrel on the moon, baby. <laughs> Armstrong. We we probably should have done that. Put that, that in the rockets. How they got home, baby. That would have been I sick. said, that, well, that one last <laughs> bottle. We got to <laughs> leave it here so China knows. That would have been awesome. We were here. probably would have stayed. Said, no, we're going to put it in the rockets. It is still we're going to fly there. home. <laughs> it is still be sitting And we landed. And there we were, baby. Aliens have a drink. Aliens. Oh, America, America. <laughs> Come on, baby. What you got, little green man? Come on, Eddie. <laughs> so, Airbar. There you go. Did the name come from the uh, the feeling of being high and you're airborne? <laughs> or no, it came from Airheads, the movie. What did ah. Ducks come from that? It half did, Ryan. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Oh, well, we don't know. You don't, you don't know where the Airheads, 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 Airheads the time. movie, which we is uh, watch a, Airheads a lot. Uh, a lot. There's a famous line where it says, uh, you know, say, who would win in a fight, Lemmy or God? And he goes, trick question, asshole. Lemmy is God. <laughs> uh, Airheads, Airheads for us. Have you ever seen it? It's, so yeah, yeah, a long yeah, time ago. You can't pluralize Lone Ranger. We are the Lone Rangers. <laughs> and then he's like, he's like, and he's got a cassette tape and goes, Makes my background vocals sound like someone's singing in my nuts. Someone's doing in my nuts. Anyway, but back to bourbon. <laughs> but one of the so greatest you got this, American inventions of all time. I got to fight. Like, so it came from from Airheads for real? Or you? Oh, well, well, it was. It was Airheads. You dispute Ryan. this? Ron, we just wanted to be Airheads. It even had a lightning bolt through the thing. There's a few theories. Few theories. But it was created when we were very young. I mean, what? Yeah. Wrong. We yeah. watched Airheads every day we got home from school. We must have watched it at least 300 times. The problem is we've, forget, we've forgotten a lot of things. Oh, I don't this. forget all these things. <laughs> you started drinking before me, so then what? You know, I can remember. Hang on, you're four years older than me. Have like, oh, yeah. Yeah, seniority, bro. <laughs> I did start drinking before, yeah. All right. Well. Ah, no, well. no, no, tell us about this one. So what have we got here? <laughs> so... <laughs> This is Blue Note. It is a it is a contract distilled or, or sourced whiskey uh, from MGP Ingredients. Okay, uh, but Blue Note is a uh, is a burgeoning uh, brand, and I actually picked this barrel. So I picked the barrel from this from they from sent me guy. several yeah from several barrels. So you you talked about like hey you know why don't you pick your own why don't you do your own stuff. This is kind of my like little segue into that. This is your signature series. Yeah, that's my uh, my little barrel pick. Ah, the Fred Minnick. Wow. Yeah, I'm yeah. the Minnick. There you go. Listen, folks, the Fred Minnick. <laughs> if you don't drink this, <laughs> I mean, I kind of. If you don't drink the Fred Minnick, you're a bit of a dick. <laughs> Gotta say, you're a bit of a dick. You're missing out. Like seriously. <laughs> wow. So you it taste. Sounds, it sounds really sexual when he says it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, one's, no yeah. one's asking anyone to suck it. We're just saying. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, kind of. No, but like, this, like, just drink it. Like, so you chose this. Super. How you went through all? Yeah, how many barrels did you? Um, I think I five or six on this one. Right, and this was barrel number. Oh, I have no. Did idea. you go back? Like, go five? You don't. Six? Know, you don't remember how you 
picked your band name. I don't remember. No, I don't exactly. Remember, I don't remember yeah. the touching You know so. what? Like in post, can you zoom in on this in post and let, get a real zoom in on that? Because that, that is a fucking, that's a great, <laughs> that's Paramount. That's Paramount bourbon. That's yeah. Paramount. It's if, good. If it I good. was, if I was Clint Eastwood in a Western good. movie, yeah. And I walked into a bar with no label and they said, give me the bottle. That's the bourbon. And That's they put the, the bottle on the bar and they go, give me the bottle. And then they do that well, thing. I tell you what, it's yours to keep. Yours to keep. No way. Yeah, your gift. It, oh, that is your gift. We're gonna have a big night. My man. <laughs> my man. Hey, we are gonna get, we are, we are gonna much. reciprocate this gift because in the ancient ways of two cultural <laughs> nations, gift exchanging, Make sure you don't hit the computer. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I, mean, I do that with my laptop too. But <laughs> Put it the thing is, I need yeah. more exposed drinks than they tip no, no, over. No, no, that goes over there too. Um, I mean, here's, my, so, here's my reciprocal gift. I'm going to break your just, fucking laptop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> here's my reciprocal gift. <laughs> reciprocal gift. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat you like you did yeah, others. Sorry, I fucked up the whole thing. <laughs> This whole thing <laughs> was recorded and it never exists because somebody oh. just tipped blue note <laughs> down the fucking Apple keys, guys. Uh, but no, we will, as, we will, as two cultural nations, Australia and America, we will, we will, we will okay. return with a reciprocal gift. Yeah. Cheers, man. Yes. Cheers, man. Yes. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Oh, thanks for having us. It's been great. <laughs> Thank you for the education. Absolutely. I look forward to calling texting emailing whatsapping whatever the fuck we're gonna do and learning more yeah when we find That's a bottle right. or you say anything oh, yeah. i would love for airborne and fred yeah minick yeah that's me that's you yeah middle name uh fred is my middle name i go by my middle fred, name. fred fred uh, frederick is my my first name <laughs> my real name is ronald <laughs> ronald fred minick yeah my middle name is francis Joel Francis O'Keefe. What's yours, Ron? Martin. Martin. So we're really getting deep. You now. don't. You seem like you're never happy with your middle name. No, fuck no. Martin. Ron. Yeah. Martin. <laughs> fuck it out. Listen, Francis is fucked. But listen, what? Frankie, baby, Frank, Frank, what? Frank Sinatra. What? Come on. What, what's wrong me? with Martin? Ron. Martin. What about Ron <laughs> Martin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it's, 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 it's the way you say it. it. Well, what if we, what if we all get together and yeah. make our own American bourbon? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, just, mega powers! This is like Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage. <laughs> the mega powers, <laughs> and they're gonna like shake hands. With- <laughs> well, I, and I, he's wrestling mixed with bourbon. What do you say? I, <laughs> test of strength. I am scheduled to go to Australia in okay. February, I think. Well, we're, we're, uh, all right, can we do a mega power there? shake on this? Right, I will hand out three way shake. I will we'll see there. you all we'll in uh, Australia. Okay. We'll talk you heard it, folks. Yeah. The mega powers are going to make a whiskey right yeah. here. A bourbon. Bourbon. Okay. Have you yeah. been the marketing guy? Yeah. I think. I don't think we'd have a choice if we did a bourbon. Yeah, I don't think we'd have a choice. But you know what? It's going to be so sweet. It's going to be so good. People won't get enough of it. They'll be like, this is the new Oxycontin. And I'm like, whoa, dude, come on. Whoa, down. dude. Whoa, dude. <laughs> and on that note, on we that would like note, to uh, on tell that everyone. Note, on that note, if thank you, you have, for joining. If you are, yeah. know someone who's involved with Oxycontin, make sure you see your doctor immediately. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> and um, Don't if you would that. like a lovely bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Thank you. <laughs> or if you want to know more about Oxycontin, please watch <laughs> Dope Sick with Michael Keaton on the Disney Channel. It's a great education. I literally watched it last night. Fresh in the mind. Fresh in the mind. And I spoke to some people from West Virginia today. Yeah. It was fucked. I, good. Literally no, selling fuck fucking it. drugs in the pharmacy. <sighs> or you can go to Bedmos and just actually get something that's all right. Bedmos is in California. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for coming thanks on. For no, welcome. thanks for having us. <laughs> it's lovely. Okay. It's lovely. The bottle's yours. Anytime. Okay. Oh, thank you. Cheers, That's man. Amazing. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thanks for having us. Take Rock care. on in America. Yeah.